Um, there is this old saying that say, grandma is always right. That's exactly what my grandma is. Well, she is right about a lot of things. For example, she is like my first feminist role model. She, yes, she always want um, her grandkids to be independent, to be able to stand on their own two feet. And she gave an example by selling batik, for example, word of mouth, to supplement my grandfather's income that's just uh, not too much. And another thing that she's very big about, she's very big about um, giving back to the community and be generous. And her gift around this is that she's very good at cooking, being from Padang, right? Nasi Padang. And um, she does it by cooking. And when people come to our house asking for help, the very least they will come out with full belly, she'll, so she'll never leave them with um, empty hand or empty stomach. While I really can't cook to save anyone's life, even my life, uh, <laughs> I adopt her values by becoming a therapist. And then um, uh, um, while she's quite progressive with her um, ideas about feminism and all that, Funny thing is, she's still quite traditional about relationship. One of her best, uh, best line is this. Every time I try to help doing household chore, like swiping the floor, mopping, she always like, hey girl, you missed that spot. Okay. You don't clean that one, nah? you will get a husband with beard on. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. What happened if I like Tom Select, you know? <laughs> 80s, by the way. <laughs> so you know what? Okay, fine. So just imagine when I was in my 20s, a good age for sexual exploration, of course. I came across this beautiful book called The Story of O. If you don't know who The Story of O is, it is a grandmother of Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> now you know, right? Google, Google. <laughs> wow, the book was amazing. It was so juicy, steamy, hot, page turning, you know? And I was like, whew, Fifty Shades of Grey, forget it. It's so boring. And I was reading that page after page. Guess who's at the back of my head? <laughs> Egala, you read that kind of book? Oh, you think with that kind of thought, huh, you'll find a husband? Okay, great. What a great way to be sexy, Grandma. Go and have a chili padi. Clean your head off. If you can stomach it, have a soap as well. You know, scrub your head clean. And so, Grandma O and I banish our desire, literally underground. It gets to the point where, um, will I keep this love affair and sexual desire underground for the rest of my life? And I don't know, I just had enough. Enough is enough. I'm not going to be carry on with this um, shame. And so, armed with my, actually, ironically, grandma great value, which is arm yourself with good education, I decided to enroll in a master's degree to be a sex therapist and continue on to be a sexologist. And now, the, the, the training it was really eye-opening, including this um, sexology retreat um, in 2019 in Poland, where they brought in a dungeon master and mistress. <laughs> Real, <laughs> real Fifty Shades of Grey. And being a good student, I always sit at the front, you know. <laughs> studying. <laughs> Literally studying. <laughs> and it was such an eye-opener, you know, like real Christian Grey and Anastasia there, you know. And of course, you know, when, when, when it's about... Um, 
the scene, it was done in such a respectful way, very different than what I read in the book or what you saw on the uh, TV, right, in the show. And, and before they did the scene, that's what they call, they even had this consent negotiation. And it's pretty much looked like a business negotiation. Head nodding, no, 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 no. You can touch this, but you cannot touch that. And it was really done in a respectful way. And then when the scene, um, the play happened, it was another eye-opening where uh, the master and mistress was very, very careful, um, really, really looking through at their body language, their breathing. It's pretty much like what I do in therapy, observing my clients' body language, breathing. And so that event has just changed my life. And as I become a good student and um, seeing the scene unfolding, and guess what? My grandma's voice went quiet. Silence. And when she saw silence, I began to hear my own sexual history, fantasy, story, unfolding. And that was a life-changing event. And so, back to my grandma. While my grandma is right about a lot of things, being an independent woman, being giving with your big heart, being generous, get yourself a good education. I think when it comes to sexuality, I choose Grandma O and my own story. Thank you.